Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Pisces. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. As usual, this will be a general collective reading and it will not resonate with every Pisces and it will not resonate with every Pisces cross watcher. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Pisces or you are dealing with someone that does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule a personal reading with me. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. All right, y'all. What is going on with my Pisces collective right now? What do they need to know at this time? All right, so we have healing. We have against time, revenge body, and abundance, strategy. Hmm. So what I'm already getting from this is that like you guys are starting to heal and move forward. You're practice, practicing self-care and self-love. You're focusing on you. Your money's looking good. Your money's improving. You're independent. Like I feel like you guys are in, are, are in a really good energy or you're going, you know, you're going to be moving into a better energy or very abundant energy. But there's this energy here also about somebody feeling like they need to rush in or they need to hurry up and do something. So they could be strategizing here. So what is this against time energy? unexpected yeah somebody's having something they didn't see something coming and now they're in regret they're feeling guilty they thought that they had more time than they actually do or did what's the shocking event what about letting okay what are they were they what's the against time what what does that have to do with pisces I feel like this person just felt like they could come back to you when they wanted to. Yeah, I feel like they felt like they could come back to you when they wanted to. It's like if this is somebody that goes to or they, you know, they you guys break up and you guys spend some time apart and then they come back. They keep tabs on you while you're apart. And like, I think that they, they come back to you when they want to or something like that. Let's see. healing three of cups in reverse what does this have to do with pisces new yeah i feel like you guys are moving towards somebody else you guys are <laughs> so you guys are healing and you guys are maybe a lot like coming together with somebody that you feel like meets your needs more or that's more in alignment with you. Yeah, I feel like you guys are like, maybe it's somebody views you as putting them in some type of third party situation because yeah, you have new love here coming in. Or a new beginning in a relationship. What does this have to do with whoever is in their energy? This other person. Hmm. See, they weren't putting any effort into this. They were waiting. They were working. They were... They weren't putting any effort into this. They were waiting for something. Yeah, because I told you, they feel like they had time. I almost feel like this person was waiting for you to try to salvage this relationship. Like there was some type of breakup or ending that happened between the two of you. And I feel like they were wanting you to mend this or bring this back together. Um, but instead, I feel like you guys are focusing on yourselves and manifesting new love or even moving towards a new person. And now they're starting to feel like they're running out of time. Tell me about against time. Yeah. Three swords in reverse is coming out again. They want to make amends with you, but I feel like they want your forgiveness, but they may feel like they're running out of time to have that or recover this. They're not ready. I don't think that this person has changed. Tell me about judgment in reverse. Scorpio energy. Nine of cups. Justice, Libra energy, what about that? 
Six. What does it have to do with Pisces? Mm, you guys are freeing yourself from this situation. What is this going on with this person? The Chariot, Cancer Energy, the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn Energy. It's like this person wanted you to do all the giving and they were being stubborn and they were being defensive and they were refusing to compromise with you. And I feel like you guys walked away and they, they're not expecting this. They're not expecting you to walk away from this. You're like, no, this is toxic. This isn't good for me. I'm, I want to open the door for new, genuine, reciprocal, balanced relationship love to come in for me. So I'm going to focus on myself now. Tell you about revenge body. Yeah, you guys finally have the strength here to, you know, pull away and, you know, pour all your, that energy that you're putting into this person into yourself. Yeah. You're, you're having self-love and self-respect here. Yeah, there's that nine of wands and Leo energy with strength, but we have, yeah, you guys are giving up. You feel like you've yeah, this is a tower moment for this person. They weren't expecting this. They were being lazy with the amount of effort and work they were putting into this. And I feel like you guys are just like releasing this now. Tell me about abundance. And I feel like it's actually the right, yeah. It's putting you in a very good energy. Nine of Pentacles energy. Taurus, Virgo, not Taurus. I mean, for some of you, it could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. But you guys are like in this abundant Nine of Pentacles energy. Like living a life of luxury self-sufficiency like you don't need this person i almost feel like this person feels like maybe they they're starting to realize that maybe they feel like they need you all right um you're getting some type of financial rewards or you're achieving something some type of like success so what's that mean for this situation going forward Is it, guys did, i swear i didn't even notice that this card was sitting out i didn't even notice but look what this, didn't I just say this person is maybe realizing that they need you for something? And look what this card says. Beggar, mooch, opportunist, user. Yes, exactly. <laughs> this person was wanting you to do all the giving and all, put on, putting all the effort and the energy in. They thought that they could come back to you and, you know, leech off of you when they wanted to. Um... Like, and I feel like I said, they're realizing that they, they need you. You don't need them. You're in a very, you're like in a way more abundant energy than they are. Wow, guys. Isn't that crazy? I did, I swear I didn't even see that card sitting out there. Ten of swords in reverse. Yeah. They're learning some type of lesson here. Yeah, they're, they're very, they're feeling very insecure. They're very emotionally immature. They're going through some type of loss or they're being left behind. It's almost like you're leaving this person behind. You're moving forward because they wouldn't get on board with you for whatever reason. They wouldn't get on board with you. Why? Yeah, they were resisting change. They didn't want to have to make the changes. Yeah, they didn't want to have to take on some new ways of living, thinking, new methods. Yeah, change their beliefs, look at things differently. They're being very resistant to change. And you're like, no, if you're not going to get on board with me, if you want to stay stuck in your old toxic ways of thinking and patterns, you can do that, but I'm not for it. You know what I mean? So it's like this person's getting left behind because they wouldn't get on board with you. All right. That is so crazy. I'm still shook over the beggar and the mooch card. Yeah, exactly. Oh! all right goodness so you may be dealing with somebody that was like abused as a child like they're a victim of some type of abuse when they were a child or it, it doesn't even have to be as that when they were a child it could have been in their adult life and that is maybe also affecting them i hide secrets they don't they don't want you to know this they're trying to, they've been trying to keep this a secret or they don't really talk to many people about this. 
but it's significant to this situation because it's coming through. I was not good enough for you. Yeah, they know that they you are like on a different level than they are. Do not trust. Stay together. Let go of the past. I feel like more so this person needs to heal. Yeah, they need to heal from some type of... See, what did I say? I use you when it benefits me. Mm-hmm. Beautiful energy because you have a beautiful energy. This person is a leech. Happily ever after. I made a mistake. Yeah, they, they fumbled their happily ever after. Not the one. They, they thought that you weren't the one when you actually were. Tell me more about it. Or they maybe chose. It says put your kids at, in priority. Put your, your kids in priorities first. So, yeah, we have a past life connection. They had somebody. They maybe chose somebody that they had children with over you. And they feel like they made a mistake. Kiss me softly. This is for the long haul. What? Hmm. Show affection. Mixed signals. This person tries to act like they don't care about you. Like they could care less about you. They're maybe even acting like they, they tried to act like they were moving on from you. But they can't stop thinking for you. And they will be back. Yeah, some of you guys are dealing with a married person. Choice made. Yeah, they chose. They feel like they made the wrong choice or they're about to choose you. After much thought, they decided to be with you instead of their other option. Fear of rejection. They fear your rejection. Is it too late? Are you over me? Will you forgive me? And listening. They're choosing to follow their heart and not waste any more time thinking. So like they may have chose that situation over you because it was also fine. It was stable. It, it gave them, you know, it was more stable financially. Like they, they were thinking about material things, but they weren't happy in that situation. They felt alone in that, that situation. So yeah, there's about to be a breakup here. They ended their relationship to be with you. It's up to you if you want to take them back. Yeah, they've been watching, watching you though. But yeah, it says they must complete their karmic contract to clear negative karma. And it says you deserve better. Yeah, you deserve better than someone that's treating you like an option. All right. But yeah, at some point, they're going to take some type of action to try to fix this. You shouldn't have to be the one to fix it. I feel like you guys have always been the one to try to fix things with this person. Let them take action towards you and you make the decision about what you want to do in regards to them when that happens. But Spirit says nothing else to do. There's nothing you could have done differently. Challenges teach you everything is as it should be. So you have airy season it says spontaneity creates a shift choose what feels most true to you let's just have to do with this situation 
May. It says, now is the time to seek change that will create a shift. It says, festive time is finding joy in life again. What's this mean for Pisces? Yeah, ship has sailed. The opportunity has already passed. Too late. No second chance is over. Don't let the opportunity pass you by. Yeah, they're having some type of aha moment about you. Epiphany. And they're going to want to reconcile. But this is happening in divine time. And you guys may already know that this is something that's going to happen at some point. This person's still in this indecisive energy. And you guys are already maybe in no contact or spending some time apart from this person. Or, you know, think that things are done with them. But they're going to make that choice. I'm telling you, it says, very last minute, a choice will be made. Taking a risk, gamble, roll with it. Take a leap of faith into the unknown. So, yeah. That's what they're going to choose to do. We have purpose. There will be an urgent invitation to live your soul's journey, receiving guiding messages to keep you on purpose and answer the calling so that you can live and contribute soulfully. We have support. Someone will enter your life to help. Someone will enter your life to offer their support and stimulate your personal growth. Their act of kindness will help you see and believe in the magic within you. And we have challenge. Be proud of all that you've lived through and always find the good and the bad. You have the power to rise up to the challenge and build your own doors for opportunity to knock on. And we have intuition. Your intuition is your superpower. You are harnessing your psychic abilities and learning to trust that inner voice to guide the, the decisions you make. All right. Yeah. There's, you have, yeah, it says a flood of opportunities are coming your way, giving you many choices to venture on a new path, listen to your inner voice and let your soul make your decision. Expect to be busy. We, somebody needs inner child healing. Like somebody has some type of traumatic event that happened in their childhood that is affecting their romantic relationships in the present, whether this is you or them. Take it how it resonates. Could be both of you. But that's a big thing. It says you're ready to bring that inner child spirit out and open yourself up to new adventures. You'll realize that you don't have to take life so seriously. There's still plenty of fun to be had. So, yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Let's do one more just to wrap up the reading. Let's do a few of these. I want you. This love scares me. There is, see, there's, there is someone else. Yeah, there's a third party interference. Words do hurt. Maybe. Yeah. They've been trying to make a decision between you and somebody else. They maybe don't think that your family would accept them. I meant what I said. I would do anything for you. So they're saying that they meant what they said when they said they would do anything for you. Well, let's see if they, you know, prove that to you. All right, so this is what I have for you. I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you could take something from this reading, personal readings are open. There is a link in the description box to schedule. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.